but I wish that I never had She must think I'm living in Wonderland I'm looking space, these people don't understand That is why I put her up and I'm a big house and I'm smoking some contraband Way to the summer land I think this big I keep bringing the rubber band Genuinely say I would be very happy waking up to this view in the morning Morning guys day two in I want to say sunny Dubai, but it's not really sunny. It's just hot and overcast um, But I've just got up had a beautiful sleep um, and now I'm gonna get the day started real quick. I'm gonna get a coffee and I'm gonna get straight downstairs for legs and cardio Obviously, you guys know I'm not doing cardio so far, but when I say cardio, it's just steps. Obviously, it's too hot for me out here to be going around and walking and whatnot. But um, nine times out, well, yesterday we, I hit my second count anyway, but we want to go to the pool and whatnot today after training and stuff. So just to make sure that I hit my step count, I want to do like half an hour treadmill, maybe a little bit more um, after legs, just get my day started. So first things first, I need a coffee. Let's go get it. Stay fresh and show gratitude. Swap. Now I'm fancier, she ain't got no attitude. Four ounces in the soda, watching Fresh Prince. Yeah. Hammer came in a box with Chanel Prince. Selling pebbles down south in my nose. Today's a little first workout. Are you training or are you just truck coaching? Just um, more sport. Yeah, so we've got a coach here. Um, and we're going to bang a real quick legs with some steps, cardio, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to crack them with the day. Right guys, so as I said, we're training twice a day today. We didn't end up doing legs yesterday just for time wise um, and filming wise. So um, Tiger's got a little knee injury as well and all sorts of stuff. So it made more sense for me to get legs done first thing this morning. Then we can do our second session together in the afternoon. So we're in the, our hotel gym. It's actually pretty sick, but it's a nice little uh, set up here with some sat and check what is it doing? So we're going to use these V squats and the real I'm not going to bore you with the big training routine because we're going to get on with the day of making rules of being in the white. But we're going to run through this legs workout. I'm going to get half an hour cardio and after that. She say boogie, you so lit, so lit. I tell her say Marsha Allah, you know. It's only big for a whips. Anytime I'm parking a car and if you see me with a man up on a strip, then just know that's my dog that you know. And anytime you see me lit up in this bitch, then you better know I got the dog with me star. Cause I ain't no no nonsense, nigga. I'm on my puffy. And I don't want no punk around me that's pocket watching. Five quid all in my pockets when I go shopping. I woke up in Harvey. Your habits and I just drop it On a one, two, I am Nicky You're nothing like it Go hard all for the muley You know that's my thing Muley gang got all the man them up on a hype team Couple nice things in the crib Moving excited The first session down guys Just in and out this morning Like I said We've, we've legs at the moment um, Legs is like my strong point anyway So I have a really good connection So in terms of machine wise And equipment wise It doesn't really matter I can Get a good workout out of it. So we just kept it moving, extensions, hammy hamstring curls, lunges, free working sets in the leg press. That's enough. We'll go back upstairs, eat, rest up, jump in the pool, and then see what the POA is for the rest of the day. We've got some steps to do, so I'm gonna finish those up now. Um while the lads order some food so I can get straight back up and have my post workout. Well, it's coming together and right? it's a nice feeling being uh, away and still being able to stay on top of it. It's been, obviously with fucking the way, very easy to get sort of sidetracked, but I'm feeling super motivated. And even here, you know, being away this morning, I'm down on the scale, I'm tight and my glutes are coming in. We're progressing so it's like I was saying in yesterday's video, there's no excuses at the end of the day. Obviously I'm talking to the extreme level of things when we're talking about contest prep and whatnot. You know, when we're talking about lifestyle, like I said yesterday, it is all about balance. And it's not making excuses when you're not 100% up and all the time because you have to have that balance. But in this scenario, where we've got a show to win, I'm not a beginner, I'm an experienced competitor, I'm an experienced trainer. There's no excuse, no reason that's valid whatsoever for me to fuck this prep up. So we're giving it 100% even once we're out here. But we've got the added luxury of being able to go upstairs and jump in the pool. So we're gonna go do that. 
everyone missed legs this morning, conveniently. Probably. Yeah, actually, no, I did say that in the video, I said you had a bad knee. So, we got away with that. did we get a coffee? Is that our drink? Yeah, black coffee. Lovely, so, post-workout and breakfast combined, we've got a four egg, vegetable omelette, two bits of asparagus, I've got my post-workout cereal, which is 110 grams worth. My total cereal for the day is 175 grams, so as I'm training um, later on today as well, I have the rest of my cereal intake for post-workout there. I've got the melon out of this, and I've got two kiwis in the fridge, and that is breakfast. What is the POA for today? Uh, so basically, I don't know. Oh, where are we going actually? What, I don't know. Yeah, you fucked it. Oh, yeah. Try going. Zero gravity. Location. What do you say? Zero Just gravity. Where are we yeah, going? Yeah, I've got uh, nine egg omelette and um, 500 gram of beans. And today, just stay up here. Oh. Um. I'm sorry, I'm just trying to put a picture of I ain't no rapper though, I just trap a lot. I came in the game with more peas than all these rappers got. Huh. So don't mix me with no meediness. I drop a five bills on a quick pair of Adidas. Lighting on my Valentino jacket, my Louis game spazzing. She would have thought I was sponsored in Harrods. Big man, be easy, we splash easy for the set. All my little oh, chill afternoon, obviously, legs this morning. Today, we actually just back to train. We're going to train this afternoon, bro. It's crazy right now. You can see how dark I'm going in and out, so it's about an hour and a half. We're going to do some jet skis, we've got a little bed in the pool, R&R, &R, rest and recovery, and then uh, see where the rest of the day takes us. We're just enjoying, enjoying taking it all in at the moment. Look at that view. So, I think the best place to be, probably when you're on prep, is Dubai, but also the worst place, because at the same time, if you've got your head screwed on, you can prep, eat all the good food you want and also enjoy yourself and there's so much to do out in Dubai. Jet skiing, skydive, skiing, there's so much so. Imagine when you're trying to pass the time of hunger you can just get on a jet ski and have some fun. Back from our little chill day at the pool, pre-workout for our second session of the day is going in. We've got cream of rice, millionaire shortbread, shortbread shortcake flavor. Um, Troy is having 125 grams, I'm having 75 grams. I'm gonna whip this up right now. He's over there, can we see, can we focus? Yep, he's over there, getting um, our last few client updates going out. And then we can go train. So I'm gonna fill you guys in with what's going on once I've whipped this up. It's ass, muley. Big muley, the swag dripper. Troy's got, uh, we both got the same to be fair, eight grams of cream of rice, same with me. Um, and I've got 100 grams of strawberries. And the rest of that water, we get this all down and then head over to Olympia gym today to get a session in. Come on the villa. That's West Ham playing. I think no, I don't watch football. It was a good effort though. Yeah. So, so how are you finding uh, balancing work at the moment? We've obviously been away. Um, I think it has been difficult. I think we're we're kind of finding the balance at the moment because we're only here for a short period of time. We're trying to fit our work in while getting other stuff done at the same time. So because um, we've been a short period of time, I think if we're able to come again, we probably come for an extra day um, just to allow us that extra time. But it's easily done again. You know, there's so much to do here. Um, and it's so, you know, it's just exciting being away because, you know, we haven't been away for a, for a, well, nearly a year now because of Covid, so just getting the balance, just kind of finding your bearings when you get somewhere new as well, you know, find out where the shops are, you know, little bits and bobs, but I think there's no better place to do your work than... I was going to say, I think even just being, just being here working yeah, is just still a vibe. Like, so, would you rather be sitting in an office or would you sit at home? Obviously, you know, I'm, I love my home. I love you know where we live, but you look at that. You know, it's um, it's quite therapeutic at the same time, isn't it? It's good also. I think when you're in a work environment, to have a clear headspace, to not be all on top of things or, or whatnot. They say something about food as well. You shouldn't ever eat where you work. You should be out of awesome. the environment to. Um, it's meant to be better for digestion or something like that. So, I think it's just in general, it's a better feeding. It's a feel good factor, and um, it's just good, man. Yeah. So yeah, the balance is good. The balance is really good right now. Like I said, me and Scott have been. 
we've got our emails done early this week. We checked in on Thursday, so pretty much everyone knew. There's quite a few people who checked in late, so um, shout out to you guys who checked in late. We're getting them done though, um, and then we're going to go train. Guys, all I'm saying is that when the headband comes out, serious. that's how you know it's serious. Yeah, see, really see the new swing? Why? I mean, these are not matching sets, obviously, you can tell they're white and red, but you can actually do this if you want to. You can buy um, sets and mix and match between Not them. everyone can pull it off, though. The, 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 Troy can do the it. The colour combo. Or you can be like me and just just do the... Uh, the great. Wow. Do the matchy-matchy. Fucking hell. I think I'm serious. Right, espresso. Yeah, man. The place is a mud team. Just, we had a great game with this apartment. Literally been perfect for everything we're doing. Even like, just, about, just about that. Just about. Although this morning I got up by myself and it took me a while to get going. I wasted about three in the coffee things. But um <laughs> yeah, there we go. Bit of sweet now. Do you want sweet in yours? Nah. Oh, okay, you got that one. <laughs> I've already put in that one. So we are after the gym. Bit of a late, well, not a late session. We've obviously we trained. I trained this morning, um, and then we're back today for our second session of the day. Like I said, you know, our goal this weekend is to, was to come out and just almost not like a training camp, but almost like that in the same sense. It's like the extreme of bodybuilding, where literally all we're doing is training twice a day, food, everything else is on point. But then it's the other extreme of relaxation to the point that aside from the, eating my meals and training we literally been chilling in this environment in the pool we've been at the pool all day i was just literally saying to troy then it's like i almost feel like um i'm not doing what i'm supposed to be doing because of how relaxed everything is um but i suppose this is why bodybuilders are so good you know like pros and that yeah because, because the ability to yeah that's the lifestyle is literally eat train sleep rest repeat um, non-stop and here is the perfect place in that because no matter where I am like we, it was in a bar club whatever you want to call it last night and I'm getting my, my exact food ordered um, in the gym and they're making my exact weight my, my shakes and all this kind of stuff so I'm here at the supermarket over the road it's 24 hours they deliver to the front door if we don't want to walk across the road um, they do all my fresh fruit and everything so you know the room service downstairs they cook my breakfast exactly how I want it they bring us fresh fruit all our waters so it's literally perfect in that sense. So I'm really enjoying the whole process at the moment. And um, in terms of prep, we're still flying. I just posted a photo um, that we took yesterday. And obviously tomorrow is a three week out mark. Um, and I'm, really, I'm almost not shocked by myself, but it's like I was saying to Troy as well, it's because we just do, we do what we do, you sometimes don't really know how good you look or don't appreciate how far you've come and whatnot. So now being out here and getting the reaction off some, you know, like I was saying in yesterday's video, um, people in the industry and the support I get from you guys and whatnot, and actually comparing myself against the, the last the last run of shows that I've been going, you know, I'm almost giving, that getting that validation that I really should have anyway, because you know, we've done well, but. It's like, it's like you didn't, we needed this, because yeah. you're stuck in that routine, training, eating, doing it, yeah, you see everyone in the gym, the same people. You come out to Dubai, a yeah. place where no one knows you, you've been able to fully relax, still do all your meals, mm. and just focus on this, and then get people say, and shut down the gym, and everyone's like, who the fuck's this geezer? Yeah, it's He's amazing. been like, literally what you need is to give you that boost to say, yeah, three weeks out, let's dig deeper. Yeah, yeah, it's so like mentally, I'm motivated as fuck. Like I said, it would be very easy for us to just for me to go off and probably pick at little things and this and that, but I'm just not even, it's not even a thought process. And then physically, I feel unreal. Obviously, I'm sitting in the sun, I'm chilling in the pool, I'm gonna get a massage in the morning. Even though we're training just as hard, I did my cardio this morning, I'm doing my steps. I physically, I'm in an amazing place, so exactly like Troy said, I can get back home Monday. It's three weeks out, hit that final last push, and uh, hopefully come out with, um, that first place trophy and then we go from there. But enough waffling, as Wahid would say, shout out to Wahid. Uh, Bandy's Expressos, we're going to Olympia Gym, um, one that was recommended by Mosley. Obviously it's, it's Olympia Gym, so no, but shout out to Mosley, he uh, uh, recommended that to me. So got my, uh, oh, I did not have my posing, oh no, I have. Get your posing chunks. Got my posing chunks already. I'm just gonna wear these to the pool today, but yeah, it was decided not to. I was getting enough looks as it was, so. Uh, posing chunks are ready, so we're going to get some rounds in as well. 
And then we're gonna go out for some nice food later. Well, I'm gonna go out for my food, we're gonna all go out to a nice place for food, put it yep. that way. See you at the gym. We had to switch up last minute, we was um, 45 minutes away. And obviously we still want to go out for food and get dinner in and whatnot, get my meals in. So, um, came to train SFF, train SF gym. Um, and it looks like to be fair, big open plan gym. Screens up everything. Better music as well, isn't it? Already yeah, a bit better. of environment, much better. Better atmosphere than there was at, um, at B1 yesterday. Um, and to be fair, because we've had a good day, we've been looking forward to training as well. Not a real look forward to training, but some, some days it is a chore, really, we're just getting it done. Um, but I'm feeling good today, so it's our full workout, second full workout for the week. Quite a short, um, short workout in terms of exercise selection, only five movements, but a lot of volume in certain sets, so there's like five sets of cool downs, six sets of cool downs. So, um, yeah, man, I'm gonna bore you the ins and outs. I'm gonna break a little bit down of where we're at. Obviously, we're three weeks out tomorrow, so we'll touch on that as we get through. But for now, we just need to get going. So, big back session. I've been a public bitch, I just wanna go in but I don't want that toppy if it ain't sloppy, baby. If you're gonna neck it, then make sure the top pop up. Yeah. Ass boogie, top of top of the top notch up. Yeah. Roll round with body droppers and top shotters. Oh, no. Block hoppers, none of my brothers are block hoppers. Go get out. Um, as Scott was saying at the start, it's a um, very small exercise selection, but more volume, if that makes sense. So, um, because we all preach about it, we're in a new gym. Trying out new machines, not necessarily new exercises, but new machines. Just remember that there's a difference. Um, so we've got a pull down, um, an ISO pull down, which we're doing uh, we've done some double arm on, and we're going to change our six normal sets of pull downs for two variations of pull downs, just to kind of switch it up, make the most of the new gym and stuff like that. So um, three working sets on here, and then we'll change it over to the next pull down. Like that. Pre in the game, holding the meds. Yeah. Gelato 41 in my split, smoke from the Zeds. Getting all this bread from pushing O's of the pen. Uh -huh. This big muley, baby, there ain't no fold in my bread. Yeah. This big muley, swag dripper, the track clipper. Uh -huh. Peng pusher, crack whipper, the pack flipper. Uh -huh. Straight drop it for the profit, it's that quicker. Yeah. Got a little cake, but nigga, my racks thicker. Uh -huh. I make the money, the money don't make a nigga. Uh -huh. Cause real life, none of this shit don't mean shit. Don't and the real up. life, I like my bitches and cream fix. Clean life. swag. Uh, as I said it before, like I'm, I'm still at a really good point in prep where energy is really good. My strength is still there, my energy is there, but just not consistently throughout the workout. So I feel tired, like I, I haven't got that same. Yeah. Uh, especially towards the end of my sets, but I'm getting all my reps, I'm getting all my sets, I'm getting all my, my weight, so I yeah, yeah. have to finish them. It's just getting harder. Yeah. Uh, so I've got a little bit of a headache, but it was obviously so hot here. Yeah. So staying on top of the water, I'm shooting, you guys know I'm shooting my water anyway, but I'm not here. But uh, I've got a little bit of a headache now. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's what it is, I feel good man, I feel good. Considering three weeks out, I don't think, I've never been three weeks out about this good, let's put it that way. But uh, so I'd like say this workout's a little bit of a, it's pull, a little bit of traps, a little bit of delts. Um, so two sets of shrugs. Um, not going crazy, I ain't got no straps, so just getting as high as I can, big squeezes as I can. But at this point, I pray. We're not trying to build muscle tissue, we're not going to grow. But equally, I'm not dropping away. We want, like I said, my strength, so I'm going to keep it where it's at. So um, if I had straps, I'd probably go a little bit heavier. But two sets. 15, 20 reps. She said, Boogie, you so lit, so lit. I tell her, say, Marsha Allah, you know. It's only big four whips. Anytime I'm parking a car, and if you see me with a man up on the street, then just know that's my dog, there you know. And anytime you see me lit up in this bitch, then you better know I got the dog with me, star. She say, Boogie, you so lit, so lit. I tell her, say, Marsha Allah, you know. It's only big for a whips. Anytime I'm parking a car, and if you see me with a man up on the street, then just know that's my dog, there you know. And anytime you see me lit up in this bitch, then you better know I got a dog with me, star.
remember. <laughs> so we were trying, well, I wasn't, I didn't clock what Troy's been trying to figure out what it looks like. And we've clocked, he's just clocked it. Take a step back. 118118.com. Whatever you need. <laughs> Don't forget guys, put your weights back. Guys. Anyway, but obviously it's all been about me, but in terms of you looking sick, full, lean, what's going on? Um, Where are you at? I think, you know what it is with us? We all learn from each other and we all push each other because we're surrounded by, by each other who do well. It's like bodybuilding wise, when one of us has done a show, the other person's always come and did a little bit better and a little bit better. And going off Scott's last off season, like this is two years ago, when he come off the back end of a prep and he was back reverse dieting, going through it all properly. I see so many people and so many people doing it wrong off prep. This is probably the first time I've actually approached it correctly and took the right approach in, in terms of how to take on my off season. Obviously working with Joe, obviously building that knowledge of literally just slowly took the food back up and literally took my off season 80% as serious as I would have took a prep, you know, in terms of in terms of how strict I've been. Obviously I've been enjoying food and whatnot, but you know, 95% of the week is on point with my food. I will probably go out for eating and stuff like that, which is all under control as well, which we preach about to so many clients. But I think I've just really, really managed this prep, this uh, off season a lot better, man. So I feel like it is shown for it in my physique. 100%. I'm the heaviest weight I've been, I'm the leanest I've been at this weight as well, so and um, how long we how long been to are we? We're um, only a few weeks into the off season and a few weeks at rebound yeah, so as well. About eight week um, like pullback and everything. Training was like sixty percent. Food was just at a moderate moderate level, like three fifty gram of carbs. Um, and then we've probably had about four to five weeks now pushing things hard. You know, PDs have gone up, food's gone up, food's the highest ever been, six hundred and fifty gram of carbs for me, that's very high. For someone who's quite small and slim in the structure, um, now I'm sitting around 14 stones. So imagine for five foot, uh, five foot nine, that's quite um, <laughs> uh, about five six foot seven. So about for, for my height and structure, I think that's quite um, a good substantial weight. And bearing in mind, I'm not the strongest. I don't go in the gym and lift heavy, as you can see from um, my, my scar. scar wound when I got stabbed upon road in it. Um, yeah, but nah, that's on the chest there. But yeah, I think this is just the best approach. We've took the off season. And anyone who's thinking about doing it off season or coming off the back end of a prep, honestly, it's the best way to go about it because it's going to save you so much time when you come to your prep. It's going to make things so much more easier. Not comfy. Yeah, oh. That'd be a bit, uh, bit roadman for you. I know, but sometimes you got to take them back to the old ones. The old school. Even though they're one tens or one forty five now, which makes no sense. And yeah, that's the girls' trainers. Slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One round of posing done. Yeah, got two rounds of posing. We've been working our way up, so that was quite quick. But before we left for here, we was doing 10, 15 seconds. So it gave us about seven minutes in it, seven minutes around. Um, holding pretty well so and as the tighter I get the easier things are to hold so I'm really obviously this is this is favorable lighting don't go as much as I, I, I did a post about the other day you know it's easy to look good with down lighting in the gym all these things and as much as this looks sick now we're very aware this is in my favor so um, we're not going by this by where I condition that if that makes sense because um, sometimes you can, don't get me wrong, I'm happy with how I'm looking, but you can become complacent. I'm going to see more glute lines in this lighting because it's shadowing and so on and so forth. But I'm happy with that, man. I think it's the most complete my physique's ever been. Every pose, I, I wouldn't say every pose is strong, but every pose is competitive, I think. I've got a pretty decent balance, I think, of, of my physique. So I'm really happy, man. I'm in a really good place of prep with everything. So, uh, and I'm happy to have a look. So we both walked in here, I've got undressed and we both like, what the fuck? And we both Just. are here to see me every day, pose every day. So I think when you're having that own reaction to yourself and then Troy to me as well, Troy has to be my harshest critic because he's there, do you know what I mean? So Just. when we're both having that reaction, I think it's a good sign. Cheekbones are in, glutes are in, and we've got three weeks to go. So Just. yeah, man, a couple of dumpers for the gram now <laughs> and then we'll get up. Yeah, man. Shout out to our guys out here in Dubai looking after us. We've got a nice little run around for the rest of the time we're here. A little Porsche number, just calm, super calm, casual, you know. 
and it's, then uh, that's for the that, that's for the rest of the lads. Then we're rolling in this in, in the US. Wow, what is it? A little? You know, oh, it's just a little Lambo, is it? Back. We'll have some food and just, you know. Rendezvous. Yeah. Well, a little rendezvous. Back at the humble abode. I've got, I just had a shake, two scoops of ice away. I've literally just got a chicken salad here, which is part of my protein intake that I've got left. I've got another chicken meal later, but we're going to go out, so I'm going to eat that. But just chicken, just salad from downstairs. Did it out for me the exact way, everything. So once again, just keeping everything basic and simple but keeping me on track man, I love it. So everything is finally done for wait, the wait, 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 let's uh, see the outfit. Oh. Talk us for the outfit. So, um, I didn't even know, I just grabbed the first thing I seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, everything's done for the weekend training wise. Now we might do a little bit of posing at one of the gyms tomorrow. Um, just to kind of, I think we didn't actually get to go to Olympia gym which was Bit of a shame, but you know, with traffic and everything like that, it was a bit crazy. So, limited for time, as we spoke about earlier. You know, trying to fit everything into um, three, three, three days. We have three days. Yeah. Yeah, three days. So, um, now all the workouts done. Time to have a bit of fun. And like Scott said earlier, you know, managing prep, especially out in Dubai, you can get your meals made, get everything done to wait and whatever, whatever you call it. Um, so we're gonna go out for some nice meal, have a little bit of chill time, have a little bit of food. Uh, maybe a bit of shisha, whatever, a bit of a vibe. It's nice to get dressed up as well, and you've got to enjoy um, the nightlife while you're out here as well. So, gonna get that done and have that balance between training and lifestyle, I think is very, very important. So, um, I think we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Look how I said to her how much four times she doesn't get it. I say, what money she gets you. Like, you have to talk to them far yeah, you, you see when I'm talking to the Scottish woman? Like, she's Spanish yeah. in Spain. This is how you have to talk to these people, bro. You have to talk to them with their kind of English because they're not talking English. They don't get it. Don't understand it. Good morning, guys. So, uh, late one last night for everyone. Well, we're all fresh and early this morning. I've just been downstairs, got my steps done. Like I said, with the weather being as it is, it's a myth for trying to walk outside doing any steps or anything. So, just the 45 minutes on the treadmill, just like, as I said, steps, not like direct cardio. Um, so, I'm on like just over 5k steps. So, by the time you get to the end of the day, we're doing some, some lifestyle stuff today. So, we hit my step count target. It's a rest day as well. Might just get a couple of posing rounds in later. Um, but yeah man, today is just our rest day, we're going to enjoy our last full day here, a bit of a lifestyle day, we're going to go do some shopping, go uh, check out, where's that, what's that place called? Um, going to go to like the Burj Arab. Burj Arab, where you get some food and whatnot, um, and then find a pool and just generally enjoy the last day, enjoy as I was talking about throughout the whole the videos, um, the, the rest of the recovery aspect of being like, even now, get up this morning, done my cardio, straight into the pool, breakfast is on the way up. Perfect, so we're gonna enjoy our last day in Dubai and then it's back on for that final push. But uh, yeah, man, let's enjoy the day. Past events got my brain bugging. I keep speaking to the Lord, but he says nothing. Spray something, say nothing. How the ends goes before the rain poured, I saw the pain coming. Brothers, push your buttons just to see you fall. When you climb back up, they push the same buttons We coming from the bottom, trying to scoop it all The Raleigh in my rares got me lane cutting I ain't listening to shit, but I ain't stubborn Certain brothers make me sick like I ate something Trying to get my bread stacked, you can get your head clapped Better step back like a train So, last night out before we head home tomorrow We just about to get in the lift, we're going to go for some nice food Chill out and enjoy some good time Yes boss, thank you Dubai, Bigger and Better, season two, episode six, <laughs> part two. <laughs> Let's go. Ride on them pussies when I feel like. A bag of man are just pussies and they eat pussy too, blood, that's real life. Stressing like an old man. I know my son's praying, I come home at. Mama said, listen real close, your only child, bear, have your own back. Been up on the road at, seen a big man with no car getting. So guys, that is it. It is a wrap. It is eight o'clock Monday morning, um, and we're off home, man. It's home time. Um, I've been up since about half six. Been downstairs, doing some cardio, 
ordered breakfast, got everything organised, because they're allowed to still sleep. I just walked them up, because we literally got to leave in about an hour, make our way to the airport. Um, but yeah, man, just wanted to round up this weekend. Um, been an epic, epic weekend, you know, really, really enjoyed ourselves. Um, and it's just been, as I was saying, it's been such a nice balance of having that break mentally, uh, just from everything, having a break from the stresses of day-to-day -day life, so to speak, and just being able to, it's, it's weird, it's like being able to zone into my, my prep, but equally zone out of everything else, so it feels like, I said straight, it feels like I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, even though I'm doing everything that I could be doing possibly, do you know what I mean? But um, it's been a nice little experience to, to travel, to network, obviously in terms of, like I said, the, the trip on a whole, I feel like, especially when I talk about, you know, the business and us as a brand, I do feel like we, you know, we tick a lot of the boxes. I feel like we put out good content, you know, um, in terms of our coaching, you know, our hearts in the right place. We help people. We try um, to be, you know, as good a people as we can. Um, uh, you know, our branding is genuine. You know, it's us. What you see is what you get. We try to have a laugh at things, not make things too serious. Obviously, competitive-wise, and the quality of our work and the quality of our our physiques, I think, show as well. So I feel like we do tick, tick all the boxes in terms of you know what it takes to, to be successful. I just feel like the one thing that we're missing is just that exposure um, and something like this, and things like this. The networking side of things is what um, you know is going to help us take those steps just to getting out there. Um, you know, I was speaking to Larry Wheels' manager or partner on, on Friday, first thing when we got here. Um, you know, and he now follows me and pops up. So just little things like that, you know, uh, you never know, you know what doors they could open. So, um, you know, this is definitely something that I'm going to keep on doing. But I'm just grateful, you know, I'm, I'm actually just grateful that I can do things like this. I'm in the position to earn a living, to, to build my business on my own terms, you know, travel around with my, with my brother and my family, my friends, um, and, and have everyone involved in, in our journey. Um, obviously, my, my fiance is at home, you know, she doesn't get enough credit. She does get credit, but, you know, um, I can't give her enough credit. She is like the driving force behind everything that you see. I, everything that you see me do, she's involved in it. So, all this time we've been away, She's at home, she's dealing with the dogs, she's dealing with the, the litters, some of them have been ill, she's been back and forth, you know what I mean? She's um, obviously sorting out her own business, she's got her own clients, her own businesses to run, um, managing the house and still finding it, you know, finding it the time to support me, to motivate me. You know, she's sending me clips of watching the last episode that's been out while we've been out here. Um, so I definitely want to give a big shout out to, to her because. Um, support you know is uh it never goes it doesn't go unnoticed you know what i mean i know how much she does for me i know how much um it means to her as well it's not just she's doing for me like you know, she wants to see me do well wants to see us do well you know we're trying to build something together as a group as me and her as a, as uh you know a couple as us as a business the kennels the coaching my competitive thing you know so um the support I get from her is, is unreal. Um, I'm looking forward to getting back home to my, to my little dog family. Um, but yeah, man, I just wanted to do a little wrap up. Like I said, I'm feeling very grateful at the moment. I'm feeling very motivated. It's exactly what I need, nice little kick on the arse. Not that I needed the kick on the arse, but just something um, to really give that last push. And now we can get back home. It's three weeks out yesterday. Um, I'm going to check in with Joe in the morning. And then we're going to make that final push to the stage. You know, my first time back on stage since 2018. It's been three years out. I know we've made massive improvements um, on every level. And now we just got to put that all together for the final package. So, guys, thank you for joining us on this journey. I hope you enjoyed the content. I hope you enjoyed what we're doing. Um, and like I said, we're, uh, we're just getting going. These next three weeks now, we're really going to, as cliche as it is, drop the hammer, dig deep, all of those terms that you hear. Um, and we're going to bring something special come show day, so I'm absolutely sweating my tits off doing this video out here. Um, but I'm going to go get the lad sorted, breakfast is on its way up, hop on this plane, we've got a long journey back, seven hour flight, two and a half hour drive, 
uh, and yeah, man. But like I said, big thank you to all you guys who support us. Um, you know, not just on here, but for our socials in person. We have so much positivity, positivity, and so much support. Um, you know, it's crazy. And once again, that's a massive factor, a driving factor for us as well. And uh, we love every single one of you. So. Bigger and better, guys. We're going to episode six, part two, I believe it is. If I've got the numbers wrong, then, you know, <laughs> that's my bad. We've just been literally filming since we got here, so shout out to Dad, he's gonna whip this one together for us. Um, but yeah, man, like, share, comment, subscribe, support the channel, help us grow, and I will see you back in the UK three weeks out.